local. So what I have here is 16 honey tangerines costs 11.20. How many tangerines can you buy for a dollar 40? And that would be a nice little question mark. Okay. Um, so what they're what they're trying to say, you know, they're saying, all right, for so many tangerines. Uh, for so much money, you can buy this many tangerines. How much can you buy now at a lower cost? So when having a problem like this, we need to set up a ratio. And what I'm talking about the ratio is the amount of money that we have compared to how many we can buy. Right? So what we're going to do is say, all right, so if I have so much money, how can I buy for that amount of money? So the only we are given information for that $11.20 we were able to buy 16. Now we could find a cost per uh, a cost per tangerine, right? Or actually just divide it the other way and have a cost per tangerine. Um, and that would and that'd be fine. That would say, all right, this is how much we can get per tangerine. Or we can also say, well, we have a dollar forty. How many is that going to yield us? So now I've introduced it in X, so we gotta make sure we um, we actually label our variable. So x equals the number of tangerines. All right, so now we have a proportion. We have a ratio equal to another ratio. So when we're dealing with proportions, it's very helpful. A lot of students uh, like to go back to your cross multiplication. All right, so by cross multiplication, I'll have $11.20 times x equals 16 times $1.40. All right. So then all I'm simply going to do is use my nice little handy calculator on my phone. So I do 16 times 1.40. That's not right. 16 times 1.40. And I get 22.4. And that's going to be dollars. Okay, now I just need to solve for x, right? Because that's our missing variable. So I'll divide by $11.20, or $11.20. All right, and then we can see that that divides out to 1. My money symbols divide out. And 22.4 divided by 11.20, we can say that x equals 2. Therefore, for $1.40, you can buy two tangerines. Thanks.